Hello and welcome to The Sims 4. This is uh, this is my avatar here, Gary R. R. Martin, and he aspires to become a great author, just like his brother, George. Um, let's move into a new house, the Martin House. Oh, what a beautiful picture! Oh, even better, perfect. Okay, so we're coming to move into this little plot down here on this island. That's where he wants to live. Where would Gary live? What kind of house would he live in? Hmm, some kind of like dungeon maybe. Let's start with let's start with a room. Let's go with a, a, a square a square room. Make that that wide, maybe. And we want to put a basement in it. Let's um Yeah, let's let's just put it a bit closer. There we go. And uh, we need a basement in this room. Um, so we'll get the basement tool. We'll just pop that down there. Boom. So it's a it's a basement uh, underneath a box at the moment. So let's uh, let's make this box look a bit cooler. Maybe we could hide it, make it look like a kind of hidden bunker. What kind of walls would it have? Oh, this is kind of camouflage. Oh, that kind of blends in. Yeah, no one's gonna see that. We we'll need some stairs going down to the basement. So uh, let's get the stairs tool. Oh, look, industrial strength stair system. There we. Kind of basement y aren't they? I want to go like straight down, I reckon, as soon as you enter. And we can make it like super wide. Yeah. Maybe just make it like a little. Oh, we've got, we've got eight grand left. Should be enough. Okay. Uh, bathroom, bedroom. Hmm. This will be the, the writing room, I guess, where he writes all his novels. Uh, we need a kitchen. Okay, looking good. Right, how much money have we got? Six, six thousand. Let's uh, let's do up the the top to make it look more like a bunker. What if we did it like a kind of um, military bunker? If we use the roof tool, maybe we could. That was a bit high. Oh, if we did like a curved one. Oh, that's pretty cool. Oh, I did it on both sides. That will look bloody good. Yes. That looks like a bunker. Extend it this way. Pretty cool. Let's get the uh, the wall looking good. Oh, wow. that looks just like a bunker. We need, some, we need a better roof on it, obviously. Uh, the roof tile. We'll go for like um, oh, like sheet metal. Oh, look at that. That looks so good. Okay. Um, we need a door, obviously. Uh, what have we got? We've got a big metal door. Oh, this one's good. Oh, I can't use it. I need to be a scientist. Uh, oh, this looks like a metal door. Steel toed double door, more like a hospital door, really. But it might be all we can do for now. That looks pretty cool. Is there a different coloured one? Oh, there is. Brown? Yeah. A bit of brown. We we'll put another another door here. We made like an airlock. Uh, another one of these brown doors. Cool. Okay, that and now that bit's gone. Okay, good. So you go straight down into the bunker. This is looking pretty cool if I do say so myself. So let's check the top. Okay, we need to camouflage this place, so let's get some plants and stuff. Uh, oh, some big old trees around it, that'll look good. Big old trees, surround it by trees. Let's make a little woodland. Okay, look at this, it's looking well good. All right, and then downstairs, we're gonna make it like a dungeon. It's looking spooky. All right, very nice. Okay, we want to be able to write stuff. Oh my god, I'm running low on money here, so let's go with uh, start furnishing this place. We need first thing first to be to be able to to sleep and piss. <laughs> That's like the two most important things. Where's the bedroom going to be? This one maybe. So let's go for like a cheap old bed, air cushion single. It's like a camp bed. <laughs> We've got a camp bed in one of these rooms. Okay, so we got a bed, somewhere to sleep. We need uh, we need somewhere to piss. Oh, and we need food. And we need to be able to afford a computer because we're going to write. So let's uh, let's be careful here. Um, okay, we want uh, what do we want? We want toilet. Cheapest toilet we got. The ambassador. There we go. Two hundred and fifty bucks. Uh, we need to be able to, to clean ourselves. So we need a cheap old shower. Look, it's a shower and a tarp. Another camping thing. That, like here. 
and probably need a sink. All right, there's our bathroom. Okay, we want to put a desk. Cheapest desk? Oh, 300 bucks is the cheapest desk. Hmm, is there a cheaper table I can use instead? Anyway, 220. That's pretty much as cheap as we're going to find. And then we need a computer. Get this old, old box. Okay, we've got 250 bucks left. We need a chair. Uh, there we go, 50 bucks. Crappy chair. <gasps> we haven't got any lighting either. Oh man, we're super running out of money here. We need, we need food too. <laughs> All right, food. It's all right, we can, after we get a couple of books written, <laughs> we can start making money. We might have to sell uh, one of these rooms, maybe. We probably don't need them all, do we? Let's sell, like, this bit. There we go, 600. That gives us a bit more playing room. Okay, we've got 300 bucks left, maybe a microwave? Oh, oh we need another surface for that. <laughs> I can't put it anywhere else. Uh, maybe, maybe that'll do. We need lights. <laughs> okay, okay. What can we do about this? Can we pay? Can we get rid of this wall? Is that going to give us some money back? Yeah, there we go. Uh, we need some lights. So we want, like, spooky lights, really. But can we afford them? And the candle lights. Here we go. There, 150. Oh, man. That's real good. That's real good. Okay. There are cheaper lights, though. Maybe we could save up for another one of those. We'll go for these crappy, like, kind of crap lights first for a bit. There we go. Beautiful! Can we afford one more counter? No. <laughs> no, we can't. Uh, what if we were to make this, this room smaller? Yeah, now we can afford a counter. I don't know where we're going to sit to eat, though. <laughs> right, that's fine. Right, Gary, there's your new home. I hope you like it. Yeah, I think it's pretty swell. Let's start writing some books. Let's get famous. All right, let's play. All right, Gary, it's time to let's, let's get, just get stuck in. Here we go. Write. We'll, we'll write a genre book. We'll write a children's book. We'll start off with a children's book. Anyone can write a children's book. There he is, going down his step basement stairs. <laughs> and he wants to... Just start writing straight away in his old computer. Right. One Blue Shoe, A Tale of Lost and Found. This is a children's book. That sounds like a, a great children's book. Let's write that. Speed up time. Just see what happens. How is he? He's a bit hungry. Uh, ah, he's acquired the writing skill. That's a good thing because he's just built a house entirely based around writing. Gary, how's the writing going? He's about... Ooh, Nearly halfway through his first book, and it's uh, 8 p.m. Okay, he's inspired. He's inspired by his children's book, and he's finished it, I think. Has he finished it? Yes, he's finished his first book. Let's slow down time, and we'll go upstairs, and we'll publish it. We'll self-publish it on our blog. It's a poor quality children's book. Come on, Gary, let's go and sell that. Sell that on the internet. Ta-da! We will get a small amount of royalties every day. Fantastic. Okay. Oh, look, I can reach the computer from here. We're inspired now, so we could write something else. We could start a new book, but I think we actually need to get some, some dinner. It's 11 p.m. No, midnight now. It's time to... We can, we can have an inspirational cook. We can cook a, a lovely nothing. There is no stove. Uh... Can I make this without fruit? <laughs> I don't know if I can. Okay, we're not going to cook anything. We're just going to have uh, have a quick meal of applesauce. <laughs> Delicious. Mmm, that'll keep us going. Yum, yum, yum. Oh, he loves it. He loves his applesauce. Good old Gary and his applesauce. Let's. Uh, he's not got. He's not very happy. He's gonna have uh, he's gonna have a quick wee before he goes to bed. Oh, that's better. And then he's gonna go and sleep on his camp bed. Oh, you can put it in your inventory. Sp spray the monster under the bed. Oh, you've got to do that every night, just in case, you know. Good, it's done. Uh, and then we'll have a quick sleep. Oh, what a productive day! We've written our first book. 
and we've self-published it on the internet. Well, by the mail. I don't know what that means. Maybe we're sending it to someone who knows how to use the internet. That makes sense. It's 7 a.m. Time to wake up, Gary. It's time to go and, and you can play a video game. There you go. How about that? That will keep you going. We'll play Blick Block. Get up and play. He's tense because he's not had any fun. <laughs> Is that fun, Gary? Are you playing Blick Block? No. Looks like you're having a lot, having a whale of a time. Can I use the microwave for anything? Have a quick meal. We'll have a, we'll have a, a some chicken nuggets. We'll have some nugs for breakfast. Get off Blick Block. You can have breakfast, mate. And then we got to get writing. You're gonna eat it. You're gonna freaking eat your your chicken nuggets. Good man. We got two bucks. There we go for a one blue shoe, a tale of lost and found. Two bucks. Oh, we've actually made money with our writing. Now we're gonna write a new book, a new children's book. Let's see what it is. Stop eating your chicken nuggets. Get down there. Get down to work. Tigers don't take naps. There we go. We're writing a book called Tigers Don't Take Naps. And we're gonna see how he does. Oh, there's people at the door. Well, they found this house somehow. <laughs> how dare they? Let's go and ask them to leave. Um, no, I don't wanna invite them in. I'll do a rude introduction. Although, Luna, ooh. Maybe I should invite her in. <laughs> Good old Gary. Stop your writing and Look, they brought us free food, which is, you know, pretty nice of them. We might need that. Hello, my name's Gary. Thank you for the food. Oh. Uh, ask to leave. Please leave. Do you want to join the good timers? No, we don't. No, we don't. Ask to leave. Ask to leave. Oh, I had to introduce myself rudely first. Please leave. Please leave. And you, get out of here. Sergio, leave. Thank you. Goodbye. Back to work, Gary. Gotta write that children's book sometime. He's tense because he doesn't. He's not having any fun. But he has finished his book, so now we can play some video games. There we go. Play some. Play some more Blick Block. There you go. Enjoy. Uh, although we should probably go and publish our book first. Self-publish. It's a normal quality children's book. We're getting better. That is for a fact. Our last one was poor. And we're sold. It's on its way to the internet via the post. Soon we'll be making money. We're gonna, we're gonna write a new book. We're gonna write a short story. Oh, we can write short stories now. Fantastic. Uh, tall tales for short adults. Sure. I love it. Ah, we finished our first milestone. Ah, we got 150 points. Can we spend them on anything? Instant fun potions. Ooh, ooh. See, these things are really cool. Later on, we can get like um, good writing ones, like creative visionary. Higher chance of painting and writing masterpieces. And that's that's going to be good. Um, and also like just. Eventually, we can just be never tired and never hungry, <laughs> which is pretty cool. They're 10,000 points each. I don't think that's going to happen anytime soon. We have 150. We'll, we'll save them. Uh, we have to achieve level 4 at writing. We have to write for 15 hours and write 5 good books. Well, that's something we haven't done yet. Alright, we're feeling pretty bad all around now. Uh, is he going to wake up anytime? <laughs> He's just going to sleep forever. Okay, 6am. It's time for a piss and a shower. He stinks. Oh, he's so dirty. Look at him dirty. He's, he's having a shower, though. He's feeling better. I think our royalty's coming at about 10 a.m. We'll see what we got from the last one. We need to get some. Uh, need to get some nugs. We'll have. Uh, we'll have some oatmeal today. There we go. Eat. Eat your oatmeal. Oh, lovely. Lovely oatmeal. Yeah. We'll play, we'll play Sims forever. <laughs> sure. What does it look like? Oh, it looks like The Sims. He's playing The Sims in The Sims. What a strange concept. You having fun? He's, he's not very good on social, but he's a loner, so I don't think that really matters. All right, that's enough fun for now, Gary. Get back to your writing. 
It's nearly nearly 10 a.m. already. Got to finish two books today. Oh look, we got four bucks for tigers don't take naps. There we go. Money is coming in. You finished a book. Oh great. Okay, next book. Next book will be a uh, poetry book. Oh, we'll write a book of poems about how we're jealous of our brother. Oh, George. This is a poetry book. Let's check that last book out. Here we go. It was a. It's an excellent book. Oh, fantastic. We've made an excellent book of short stories. Okay. Well, we got to get that sold to the publishers. When can we start publishing to actual publishers rather than just on the internet? Hopefully soon. How's he doing? He's getting hungry. He's getting dirty. He's not having any fun. But he's getting his work done. He's tense, but now he's inspired. Oh, Gary, you're the best. He's finished another book. It's two books and it's only 4 p.m. Let's go and sell them. Should we move this uh, post box closer to the door? Oh, it's easier to sell our books. <laughs> Self-publish. Oh, George, it's an excellent book of poetry. Should we actually, maybe we should wait until we can publish properly. We'll start writing another one. We're inspired so we can write better poetry. Yow, a complaint in rhyme. <laughs> that sounds awful, let's do it. <laughs> get that book written, mate. Okay, he's very uncomfortable now. Let's uh, let's get him um, use that, and then we can maybe brush your teeth. That sounds like a good thing. And then we'll have uh, we'll have uh, microwave pastry. <laughs> sure. Maybe we'll clean up this this old bowl. Come on, get off the computer. Have a wee. Sit down, wee. Brush your teeth. There we go. Feeling better? Let's have some food. He stinks. Gary stinks. He's just constantly washing his hands because he stinks about. Let's, we better have a shower. Come on. Get in the shower. Then we can eat that pastry. All right, that'll do. That's enough showering. Get get that food in your mouth. Mmm, delicious. It's 8 p.m., 9 p.m. We need to get level 5 at writing. Oh, but we need to play a quick game of Blick Block first. Get that fun up. He's level two at video gaming. He's getting good at Blick Block. Good lad. Ah, level five. Now he can publish. Okay. Let's get up here and publish those books. Both of them. And then it's bedtime. He's done it. He's done it. We can do another one. Is it a good one? We've got Yao. It's an it's a normal quality book. I mean, he wasn't in the greatest mood when he wrote it, so that's fine. There you go. Three books to the publishers in one day. That's not bad. Right. Quick game of uh, quick game of uh, oh, we can play incredible sports. Fantastic. That's fun, isn't it? You having fun? Oh look, we made money. Two hundred bucks today. Ah, there you go. Look. Oh, George is making 126 bucks a day. I guess people really want to hear, like, Gary's side of the story. It's midday already, George. You're a lazy, lazy writer. George, go back, rewind. <laughs> Gary. <laughs> Time to write. Come on. Let's write a book of non fiction. Oh. What should we write about? Quit your gaming, come on. Alright, we'll be like, I don't know, how to, how to live in a hidden bunker. There you go. I think that'll sell well. He's uncomfortable, why is he so uncomfortable? He's had cold, he's had badly microwave food. Oh, oh well. Oh no! It's blue screened. Oh dear. We're gonna have to fix that. Can you do it yourself, Gary? Let's find out. See if you can fix the computer on your own. He's got the circuit boards out and he's jamming a screwdriver into them. That sounds like a good idea, Gary. Look at that. Is it gonna work? Speed up and find out. Beep boop 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 beep beep boop. Man, that's a serious repair job. You did it! Gary! You fixed the PC! 
He's uh, he's pinched a finger with the screwdriver, and he's sitting on low quality furniture. So he's uncomfortable. He's inspired. Oh, he's inspired because he's so uncomfortable. Amazing. And he's finished a book. Is it any good? It's poor. <laughs> it's a poor quality book. It's, well, we we know why. He just uh, he feels bad. But now he's inspired. Perhaps, <gasps> perhaps we can write a better book. That's, re that's that's why he's so inspired to write this book. A book about bad chairs. Super inspiration for this book. Oh, it's uncomfortable. You've got to stop writing, Gary. You don't want to write when you're uncomfortable. Let's go for a wee. You feeling better? He's inspired again. Oh, great. Resume your writing. Now he's tense because he's having no fun. So we're going to play a quick, a quick game of incredible sports. Just uh, get, his, get him happy again. Oh, that game looks great. Look at all those footballers doing their things. Can we cook something better? Can we quickly cook? Can we not cook any of this stuff? Can you make a salad without without fruit? Let's try. Make a party sized serving of salad. Go on, Gary. Get up. Get up and eat your salad. Oh, clean up that plate first. Good, good man. In the bathroom sink. Oh, he's doing it. He's making a salad without fruit. Oh, good job. What is it? Uh, it's a poor quality salad, but we can put this away. And um, then we can eat it whenever we want. It's nearly time to get our royalties for the day. Oh, oh dear. He ate some bad food from eating poorly made food. Oh, well. How long is that going to last? Two hours. Well, let's have a wee. Here we go. And the... Another 193 bucks came in. Can we have a, th a thoughtful shower? Let's get inspired. He's happy now. And now he's inspired. Fantastic. Perfect time for writing. Let's resume writing how bad chairs ruined my life. <laughs> On a bad chair. <laughs> so we've got some money coming, actually. Can we use it to get anything useful? Can we get a cooker? We can get a cheapo cooker, there we go. Great. There we go, nice. Now we can actually make some real food. Level six. Anything, we can write screenplays now. Oh, here we go. Now we're talking. Make some serious bucks. We need to make one more good book. We're gonna write a screenplay. It happened one lunch break. What should we make a screenplay about? How about like, Sexy vampires. Ooh. That's gonna sell well. That's how's that last book about chairs? Oh, excellent. We wrote Oh, there's two books in a stack. Are they have we got two of the same book? How does that work? It's an excellent quality book though. Oh, we're gonna go and sell that soon. Just you wait. It's gonna be great. Oh look, I can go and like pick some uh, wild wild berries. There's people fishing over here. Well, oh, he's tense. Stop! Stop writing, Gary! Why are you so tense? What's happened? He's not had any fun for a while. Alright, get get off your computer. We'll go... We'll go sell those books. How to Live in a Hidden Bunker is a poor quality book. But... How Bad Chairs Ruin Your Life. Excellent book. Excellent it is. Sell them. And then we'll go and... What can we do that might be fun? Fishing is fishing fun. Let's go fishing. Maybe we'll get some fish. Oh, it is fun. He's having a great time. Oh, I caught something. I got a, a flower, a tulip. Sell that. Yep. How much is this worth? Nothing. Oh, we got a fish. Oh, an excellent quality minnow. There we go. Well done, Gary. You're a good fisherman. Yep, he's he's had a good time fishing. He's finished. We got. Should we sell this minnow? Six bucks. Or can we can we eat it? Oh, we can mount it. Oh, we got a mounted fish. All right. Look at this. We got a minnow on a bit of wood. <laughs> Let's put that somewhere. Let's put it on the wall. Behind our desk, and then oh, what's wrong? 
Are you how are you feeling? Feeling alright? You wanna cook something? Let's cook uh let's cook something. Let's cook some mac and cheese. A party sized portion of mac and cheese. Oh no! Gary! He's bloody set fire! <laughs> Get out of here, Gary! Put the fire out, you Ah! Wait, hang on. <laughs> Shit! Alright, uh. Gary! Oh, it's all gone wrong! <laughs> He's died! <laughs> Gary! Gary, no! <laughs> Oh dear. Well, that didn't, that did not go well. <laughs> Gary was never as famous as his brother, it turns out. He wrote some mediocre children's books and some books complaining about his chair. And then he died in a fire in his bunker. <laughs> Which is... <laughs> And Grim Reaper turns up with his iPad to log in. Game over. <laughs> well, there we go. That was the short and tragic story of Gary the author. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you again. Goodbye. <laughs>